Oregon has closed primaries, so if you're not a member of the party, you can't vote in it. Uh, our neighbors to the north, Washington, have been fighting with this, and they still basically have an open primary system, but the Supreme Court kicked out one. They rewrote it. They're legal. California's tried to do the same thing, but Oregon closed primaries. Uh, we have experimented with open primaries. Both the Republicans and Democrats have allowed independents in. It didn't really make much difference in outcomes, um, and so they're closed again. Uh, the big thing from the point of view of someone like me, my main thing is, and this is what I deal with my students, take part, be a part of the democratic process. In political science, the lowest level of participation is voting. That's the lowest level. And in this country, in a regular election, way more than half don't even vote. And so from that point of view, I agree with people like Phil Kiesling who say we ought to have open primaries uh, so that we encourage people to vote. And remember, in Oregon for the past 10 to 15 years, the single biggest group of voters that has registered is independents, non-affiliated voters. So the idea is that they would take part. Um, evidence is mixed on whether or not that would actually happen. Uh, in terms of the, the outcomes, it's uh, closed primaries, we used to think, drove the outcomes so that re Democrats who won those primaries were more liberal than the constituency and Republicans were more conservative than the constituency. But looking at states that have had open primaries for a long time, we see that that also happens in those states. So it's not closed versus open that makes that difference. It seems to be the people that would turn out and, and are ideologically disposed to turn out for a primary, all those other kinds of things. So uh, you know, I, on a political science side, we definitely need to move towards open primaries. On a political side, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. You'd have to have a real train wreck for it to happen. Um, and the open primary idea that Phil Kiesling has talked about and got on the ballot, not quite got on the ballot, and all those kinds of things, um, th there, there are real problems with it as well. Um, it, Louisiana has a similar state of affairs, and uh, that at one point led to David Duke, the, the grand wizard of the KKK, uh, being the, basically the person who was running for the Senate, and oh, everybody was up in arms about that. So uh, elections are, are tricky. Elections are really, really tricky. In an ideal world, and I remember I'm an international guy, in an ideal world, everybody's automatically registered to vote. You don't have to go do it. And we end up being like Italy or Brazil or Australia, you're required to vote. And if you don't vote, it's a traffic ticket kind of offense, but you're, you're, you don't vote. Um, but but that, that's, that's from my internationalist point of view. In the United States, it's never, ever going to happen.